yourself the image that you're going to be using and then left click and drag it into the work area. Once you've loaded up your image, you want to left click on the lock. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press control or command and get ourselves a duplicate. So then we can hide the one underneath it. We're going to zoom into the image. If you've got a mouse and if you're on a computer or a laptop, you can hold alt or option key and then scroll up to zoom into the image. You can hold spacebar to move around. If you don't have a mouse, then don't worry about it. You have the zoom tool, which is right here. There's different tools. The one that we're gonna be using is called the magnetic lasso tool. So to get to it, it is the third tool down, and then you just want to right click, and then it'll be in the group with the lasso tool. Now, if you have a newer version of Photoshop, for example, Photoshop 2020, you can always use the object selection tool, and this will automatically detect what it is that you are trying to select. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job on selecting the person. But if you're using older versions, then we're gonna use this one right here. So the magnetic lasso tool. You have your options right at the top here. The modes are pretty simple to learn and get used to. You have a singular selection, you have add, subtract, and then inter select. So this will create a shape inside of your selection. Feather will make the edges soft. So if you wanted your edges to be soft, you can always increase the feather. And you have the width. So this is the distance between each point that is plotted down. You have contrast. So this is how well it can determine the outline. And then you have frequency, how many points it will plot in total or a rough estimate. You want to start off somewhere at the bottom or at the top. Now we're not going to do the hair because we're going to use a different tool to do that. So you just pretty much want to start on the shoulder. If yours goes a little bit funny like this, you can use the backspace to go back to the other point. This is a previous point that you can go back to. You can manually add points yourself. So if you just left click, you can get yourself a point. Now at the moment, it is being a little bit difficult to work with, as you can see, because it's not wanting to do what I wanted to do. So we're gonna place it down like so, and then go around the person, slowly selecting your image. Once you get to the other shoulder, you just want to go around the hair, create yourself a little bit of a gap in between the actual hair and the background. Once you're ready, you can go back to the first one and then when the circle icon pops up, you can connect it all up and then this will create you a selection. We're gonna go back to re-edit some of the things that aren't done so well. So for example, as you can see down here near the arm, that isn't looking so good and we can easily fix that. If you go back to the lasso tool and you want to right click in here, and then we're gonna use something called a polygonal lasso tool. This is like the pen tool without the dots. What you want to do is you want to hold Alt or Option key, and then this will switch it over to a minus. And then once it's switched it over to a minus, you want to left click on the line, and then take away this area right there. Another shortcut is you can hold Control or Command, and then it will connect up from here if you hold it in, and then left click, and then that will connect it all up. So we're just pretty much going to fix up some of the things that aren't looking so good. You need to make sure that you are on this one, otherwise you won't be able to edit your selection. So this is going to be a takeaway. So you want to hold Alt or Option key and then take away this area right here. And also add the hair as well, like so. Once you're happy with everything, you can go ahead and go to the selection tool, which is the second one. And then in here, you'll have the options. At the end of it, you will have something called select and mask. And once you've found this button, you just want to left click on it. This will give you the screen right here. Now, just like always, we're going to hold Alt or Option key, zoom in, making it easier for us to see. And once you've done that, we're going to use the second tool, which is the refine edge tool. Now the key to this is to have it on a decent number. So we're gonna go with, let's say, I'm gonna put it on 30. Actually, let's put it down to 20. So once you're ready, all you gotta do is left click and then select the background where the hair is. And then this will remove it from your image. You just want to go around it, take your time with it. You don't have to rush into it. The next tool that we're gonna use is the one underneath and this is the brush tool. You can either use the square bracket on your keyboard to make it smaller or larger, or you can hold Alt and then hold the right side of the mouse and then drag it out to increase the size. And you just want to make sure you put it on a minus and take it away from here. If you scroll down to the bottom, there'll be an option called decontaminate colors. 
So if you're struggling with the colors and you want it to be more accurate, you can always use this. And then let's put it on 43, for example. Once you've done that, you can go to the bottom and you will have an option called output two. And then this should say new layer with layer mask. So you wanna select this one and then go ahead and press okay. So now all you gotta do is hide this one, get yourself the one underneath it. And we need to remove the person from the background. So it's just the background on its own. To do that, it's really simple. You wanna go to the lasso tool. So if you hold the right side of the mouse and then go on the third tool, or you can press L. And then once you've got yourself the freehand lasso tool, just get yourself a rough selection around the person. You don't have to connect it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. So something like this. Now that you've got yourself this selection, you wanna make sure you are on your background layer and then you want to press Shift and F5. And this will bring you this fill option right here. Now, if you can't do it that way, you can go to edit and then go down to fill, which is right here. And then that will bring you to this window right here. So you wanna make sure it's on content aware. You wanna make sure it's on color adaptation, mode on normal, and then 100% opacity, and then go ahead and press okay. And this will automatically remove the person. As you can see, it did a decent job. It's not the best, but you won't really notice it. Now, once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and go up to filter. And then in here, you wanna go down to blur and then go to the one that will say lens blur. And then once you've got that one, you will have a bunch of options. The one that we're gonna focus on is the shape. So I've gone with the bottom one, which is octagon. And then you wanna set the radius to 100. Now, if you wanted to, you can edit the other options, but I'm gonna leave them as normal. I'm not really going to change anything else. So once you've done that, go ahead and press okay. Now that you've got yourself the blurred background, you can unhide this one and then there you go. You can always go down to the blur tool, which is right here. So if you right click, you can get yourself the blur tool and then you wanna go ahead and press Control J or Command and J, hide the one underneath, right click on this one, convert smart object and then right click on it and rasterize layer. And then you just want to change the size. So increase it by holding Alt or Option key and the, holding the right side of the mouse. And then you just want to left click and drag it out. It's becoming more blurry. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then leave a comment down below. Let me know if it's helpful or not. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did like the video. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.